Gotta change locations. It's getting dark out. I couldn't see. Not that I, you know, I could draw in the dark, but why would I want to do that? <laughs> I know other artists usually just paint, but I started, you know, um, either using markers or coloring pencils beforehand, and I found that, you know, my work has you know, turned out ten times better for me. Um, I actually caught on to the marker thing. I want to give a shout out to an artist, uh, self self missio he's got a weird name i'm totally murdering your name dude i'm so sorry but he's a one-handed artist and he kind of turned me on to the whole using a marker thing uh shout out to you on that man i appreciate you for that uh tip you gave me on that you didn't really give it to me i just kind of was like yeah I'll use a marker dude just if you do use a marker just you know Make sure you paint over it. Man, you can go to schools and all that stuff. And, you know, ultimately, you know, when it comes to being an artist, I think what works for you is what works for you. It may not work for another person. You know, I mean, the technique, I mean, yes, but the way and the way that you do that technique is totally up to you. But being an artist, it's all about creating your own technique and your own style, you know. I mean, if you want to be like other artists, hey, that's on you. I mean, be yourself, you know, be original, you know. That originality is getting harder and harder and harder to find in this day and age. You know, it truly is. You know, everybody else is just copying everybody else. You know, you'll come out with something that's original, you know, have your own style, and then somebody will be right behind you with that trying to claim they did it when it, you know organically it you know came from you that's what makes you great though inspiring that's what makes an artist inspiration inspiring others that's what an artist does that's what an artist is that's what art is supposed to do to help inspire you know for greater things sometimes for you know bad things too I mean, art is subjective. Yeah, I totally want my Jesus to freaking be tall, dude. I mean, imagine he'd been tall. I mean, he was a carpenter, so I'm pretty sure, you know, he was probably in, you know, pretty decent shape at that time. Imagine he would have been, you know, in pretty decent shape. <clears throat> I mean, being the son of God, I know what I mean. <laughs> Imagine he was, um, you know, quite the figure. You know, standing in righteousness and power and good.
Definitely not white, though. <laughs> I know Jewish people, you know, they come in every color, just like white people, black people, Mex Mexican people, you know, all colors and nationalities, you know, we all, I mean, even Jamaicans, you know, there's white people, you know. <laughs> But, you know, as he was described, he was bronze, you know, so he was, you know, darker complexion. Which I imagine if you were out in the woods, you know, a lot and traveling, you know, yeah, you're going to get a tan, dude. I mean, I, look at me, I'm pretty, you know, spring's just kicked in, I've only been outside, you know, in direct sunlight. You know, it's already beaming down, dude. Don't take long. <laughs> of course, I could, you know, imagine, you know, what the climates were like 2,000 years ago compared to now. If you want to be a gentle creature and not kill things, the only, def the only you know, two defenses that you really have against, well, three defenses that you have against mosquitoes are <laughs> blowing on them, bug spray, <laughs> or going inside. <laughs> well, I don't want to kill them. I'm recording. Hmm? I'm doing, I'm working. Okay. Working? Yeah. Let's see. 